Guys, I've just come up with a very funny, um, actually, I'm not sure I'd use the word funny, um, discovery. So, this window, I couldn't get to go down. I've just worked something out. This isn't some strange, like, drain tube, like, for some reason, it's passed through my mind. I suddenly noticed that there's this at the bottom of it. And put my hand all the way to the top to realise that, in actual fact, it's been holding the window up for however many years you can count on your hands and a few more. <laughs> so some nutter in the past has literally put this in here like this. And it's basically been propping the window up from this back corner. <laughs> yeah, someone had an eccentric idea, didn't they? <laughs> but I suppose if it held it up... It's not that bad, or well, it wasn't that much of a stupid idea because it actually did work. <laughs> Until I came along and started fiddling with it. <laughs> anyway, this, just get these three nuts off that hold the mechanism in. It's a nice and simple bit of engineering, I like it. Do that. Let's see if I can pop this um, mechanism out again like I had last time I was in this door this deep. I'm going to get it out and then I'll stop the video again because otherwise I can see this going terribly wrong. Right, so back to this. Got the mechanism out. As you can see, there we go. A bit more like bonus. So basically, the small little bits of plastic I showed you last time, which I think are over here on the floor. I'll just grab them. So these go onto these parts here on the bottom window and then you slot this slider onto there like so which then allows the mechanism to move while moving the window up and down because obviously things are going to be changing position all the time so you need something to give it that allow allow it of movement basically um so yeah this top one looks like it's been fiddled with before it's got two um square nuts put together instead of what looks like this original rivet and the problem is is here look so looking around and if we come to the back here it looks like it, someone's actually possibly been trying to repair this in the past you can see some grind in there as well right guys so um done a bit more investigation on the uh, door and as you'll see just before I ran out of um, space on my phone when I got this out, um, I found this lovely pole inside the door actually holding the window up, which I had not got any idea of until I found it today. <laughs> but it explains why the window would not come down with any sort of tip forwards, and that was about it. Um, what we found is that the, the reason why the window mechanism's not working is the fact that we basically got. Um, this is the main gear here, which runs the mechanism here up and down with the sm small gear here off the back of the um, lever and then you've got the big gear there obviously and basically the problem is where the hole is in that bracket it's got some a lot of play in it so every time you operate that handle this big gear is just pushing away because it's just taking up all the play that's in there, so you just knock it around. You might be able to see there, where you can actually see a bit of daylight coming through the hole. So, what I think the best idea is going to be to do, to sort that out, is to take a bit of um, my spare sheet metal into work, make up a big circle, me measure the width of this spindle here with a vernier gauge, get our special drill at work and put a drill hole of that size straight into a new piece of steel and then put a piece of metal round it on the bracket and just literally tack weld it into place so that basically you then only have it only having as much play as it's supposed to have and just obviously nicely grease it up the other problem that I had I think I showed you these little plastic bits the other day um, these were just flopping around and loose 
And the reason for that is a bit of simple grease work really, but I can't get it back out now, but I can show you hopefully. That black that black dot inside there is actually a hole where it had worn through, which is obviously just no one's been no one had greased up for a long time, so it's just worn itself through as the wind has been used. This other side is nowhere near as bad but it's got the same sort of wear on it it's a nice flat spot there it's where it's been worn down so but I can I can get both of these to work for now by just putting them in a 108 um, 90 degree different angle to what they were so basically the wear, so, wears, the wear is on the sides rather than where it's needed to hold in this runner and what I'm going to try and do because obviously depending on how busy work is I may not get the time at during lunch break to do it um, cut this piece of metal here up and the idea is if I put it this way up I can show you so if I put that in there like so it forces that gear upwards into the right position and also hopefully allows it to turn properly as well it is as I'm sure you're going to say a proper bods job <laughs> but if it makes the window work and means it can actually be shut properly means you can actually take the car out properly and use it without having the window half open all the whole time then um, I think it'll be a suitable fix for now until I get a, a new piece I was talking about with a properly drilled hole and then I could tackle it in place properly so I think that's what I'm going to do for today just so that I can get the window t operating as it should do so yeah we found the, we found the reason for the problem Hopefully I can now fix it. <laughs> See you next time. We've tried to make the window work better. I've got to support now where it's actually straight. There's nothing actually holding up apart from the mechanism itself. But the definitely the engineering bodge I tried to do on the um, big gear behind the spindle here hasn't entirely worked because you can turn it and it will go up a little bit and then it hits the next tooth and drops. So it's not been a successful bodge at all, but um, I have got the size of the spindle shaft so I can, do as I said, get a piece of sheet steel cut out, cut, drill a hole that size, put it around the spindle, weld it in properly, and then hopefully that should do the trick. <laughs> but on the other hand, I can at least lift it up properly with my hands, maybe secure it some way, and at least it's shut, so it's still a bonus on what it was. <laughs>